feel the kindness in your eyes I see the way you look tonight It makes me want to hold you If I could stop the hands of time And hold back the morning light Just so I can hold you well, the Chateau has been an absolute hive of activity over the last three weeks, and we thought we'd take the time to update you on what's been happening. We've had three different teams from the stonemasons working on three separate projects. The first team, you can see the results of their work directly behind me. They've been working on the window sills that sit under the windows on the ground floor and they've been taking out the old stone pieces putting new stone in and shaping and mortaring those window sills we've had a second team from the stonemasons company that's been dismantling the scaffolding on the portion of the chateau that you can see behind me that's the eastern section and they've been gradually taking the scaffolding down one level at a time and re-erecting it on the western side in preparation for the restoration of the roof and the facades on that part of the chateau and that work has now commenced and most of the scaffolding is now in place. The third team from the stonemasons company has been working on the restoration of the chimneys on the western side. There are 10 chimney stacks across the whole chateau. Five of them were restored as part of the works on the eastern side of the chateau and they've already now restored four of the chimneys on the western side so there's only one to go and the reason why they've done this is this is the lesson that we've learned from the restoration of the eastern part we learned that by restoring the chimney stacks first it makes it a lot easier for the team that have to work on restoring the oak frame and laying the slate tiles that the oak frame supports it's much easier for them to do that work if the chimneys are already restored and all of the stone work that has to be done on that is already out of the way. Now while those three stonemason teams have been busy at work over the last three weeks the roofing team has not been idle either. They've been restoring the copper down pipes and those copper down pipes replace old metallic down pipes that were installed in the chateau at the end of the 19th century. At the same time they've been completing some of the laying of the tiles on the central section of the chateau and they've laid hundreds of tiles over the last couple of weeks. And then yesterday and today, they've started working with the Charpont team or the roofing guys who do the oak frame. And the work that they've been doing is they've been putting in place a massive umbrella or a canopy that will sit over the western end of the chateau while the restoration of the roof and the facades proceeds on that side. And this is another lesson that we learned from the work that's been done on the eastern side, that it's much easier to keep the rain out of the chateau attic as the roof comes off if we put this massive canopy in place. Because what we found with the restoration of the eastern side was that a lot of time was wasted taking the tarpaulins off at the start of each day and putting them back on in the evening. And so by having this massive umbrella or this canopy in place that'll be supported by a huge wooden frame, we'll be able to keep the water out more effectively and save a lot of time down the track while the restoration work is underway. So a lot of work's been achieved and it's just amazing to see all of the progress that's been made over the last three weeks and that you can see continuing behind me now. Let's go and have a look at all the work that they've just done. So we can see here the work they're doing to replace the stonework under each of the window sills on the ground floor. So the first thing they have to do is they have to take the old stone pieces out and you can see it's quite amazing. They've taken the pieces out right back to the boiserie or the wood panelling that sits inside the room. Now this is the room we use as our bedroom at the moment so they're working right outside our bedroom and you can see the old stone pieces have been effectively jackhammered out and they're ready to replace them. So let's go around and have a look at the work that's done as they actually replace the stone and reshape it and create the forms that look so beautiful to the eye when we gaze on the shadow from a distance. Come and have a look. 
Okay, so now we can see the next stage in the restoration of the stone window sills. And you can see here they've replaced the pieces of stone that needed to be um, fully restored. And they use this tool here. It's called in French a chemin fer or a railroad. I'm sure this tool has not changed since the 17th or the 18th century using exactly the same technique. They use it to shape the stone contours here which give the chateau facade its elegance and its style. Um, and we can see here exactly where they've replaced the stone pieces and even here where they've essentially grafted the stone on to make sure that as much as possible of the original chateau facade can be protected and saved and just the bare minimum gets restored with new stone pieces. It's really quite remarkable work and it's using artisanal techniques that haven't changed in two and a half centuries. And we're thrilled to see the protection of this uh, incredible know-how here at, uh, at Chateau de Pernon. So while all this work's been underway with the stonemasons team, the guys on the roof have had plenty to do as well. Uh, one of the things they've been doing is putting in place these copper downpipes. Now, at the end of the 18th century, when Chateau de Pernon was first constructed, there were no gutters around the top of the roof and there were therefore no downpipes either. The water ran straight off the roof and landed on stone guttering system that sat at the chateau's base. But in the late 19th century, a new guttering system in zinc was installed around the top of the corniches at the bottom of the slate roof and downpipes were installed. And the installation of that zinc guttering at the end of the 19th century had two disastrous consequences. The first was that in order to anchor the zinc guttering on the stone corniches beneath it, it was necessary to drive metal stakes or metal pickets through into the stone corniche. And if we come over here, we can see the impact that that had. Just here on the corner, we can see the platform where the zinc guttering sat and the corniches beneath have been completely destroyed. Over the last century, almost all the corner corniches have been lost and the others uh, along the, um, the side of the building have been weakened through water inundation. The water flowed off the roof, sat in the guttering and anywhere where there was a leak, that water then sank uh, or leaked into the stone beneath it and the soft tufa stone really never stood a chance. Uh, and that was the first consequence of putting that zinc guttering in place. The second consequence was that the installation of the guttering altered permanently the shape and pitch of the roof. And if we come over here, we can see just how significant the change was. Here, the zinc guttering's been removed. And we can see that it was necessary to alter the shape of the charpente or the oak frame that sits under the slate roof in order to make space so that the zinc guttering could be put in place. And one of the key features of the works to restore Pernon today in the 21st century is to restore the roof to its original pitch and appearance. And this is a very, very ambitious project. Not only do they actually have to physically remove the zinc guttering and eventually replace it with a much subtler copper gut guttering, but they also have to return the charpente or the wooden frame to the original shape of the roof. So now it will come out in a in, in almost like a like like a bell uh, and we can see here these um these pieces will uh will ultimately be replaced they were changed at the end of the 19th century to accommodate this the zinc guttering and now they can be returned to uh, the original shape of the roof and what it means is that when the restoration works are complete we will see pernon's roof in the 21st century, the way she was originally designed and constructed at the end of the 18th century. It's gonna be quite a remarkable transformation. But let's go up onto the roof and see all the work that's been happening up there with the chimneys and with the giant canopy. So we've arrived here at the top of the scaffolding. We're at the very summit and around me are the 10 chimney stacks that sit on the chateau roof. Nine of them have been completely restored now. In some cases they've been able to save the original chimney pots and in other cases we've replaced them with chimney pots that have been fired by a local pottery that specialises in heritage ceramics and heritage chimney pots. And now they're starting to lift the old slate tiles off the roof and some of these slate tiles are 250 years old. Our architect has never seen slate tiles that have lasted this long, but they are at the very end of their 
life. I mean, look at this one. It's completely destroyed and really it only had another couple of years left in it before the roof would have collapsed totally. And they'll be replaced by these modern slate tiles that are much thicker and that's such an important part of safeguarding Chateau de Pernon's roof for the next two and a half centuries. But the real task that's being done up here today is the preparation for putting this giant umbrella, this giant canopy over the western side of the chateau to protect this part of the roof from inundation from rainwater as the chateau's original roof gets taken off. Now you can see the huge structure being put in place, the wooden frame that will hold this canopy in place. And the roofing guys yesterday started taking off the lead flashing that sits on the ridge at the top of the roof so that they could accommodate this huge canopy that will protect the chateau over the next 18 months to two years while the new roof and the restoration of the facades is underway. It's just amazing to see all of this progress today and over the last few weeks. And don't forget, if you'd like to follow the restoration of Pernod more closely, we post a daily update in our Instagram stories. If you'd like to support the restoration project here at Pernod, we post an exclusive weekly video over on Patreon. Otherwise, just hit the subscribe button and we'll keep you updated here.